I started my apprenticeship uh, with a company that my father worked for. Uh, he was an electrical mechanic and I used to do a little bit of uh, weekend work with him and I rather enjoyed the, the work. So I completed my apprenticeship and, um, and the TAFE course. I was then seconded to go over to Tasmania for a small period of time. Came back, worked for the company again. I then moved on to uh, Wormald's which was doing fire alarms as a supervisor and uh, after that I decided that I'd like to start up my own electrical contracting business which I've now done and have been doing for the last 35 years or so. Current industry is um, charging ahead. There's a lot of different sort of work out there now, more uh, computerised, um, but until they can get away without any hard wiring, I've always got a job. If you're going to enter the industry today, I believe the best thing is to do additional courses if you can, especially in um, the electronic side of it, maybe the alarm side and specialising in something like that. And if you're going to do an apprenticeship with a company, I would try and get an apprenticeship with a company that does a varied style of work, not just the one style of work. I was well known in the Strathfield area uh, doing my electrical contracting, but I felt that it would be something that I could do to give back to the community, so I joined Rotary. I knew a lot of the people in Rotary, but having known them, um, they then have contacts who have contacts who have contacts. So I believe that it's, it's a good thing to uh, get to know as many people as you possibly can.